Hi, I'm Apollo Gandhi. Welcome to my home kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make chole. It's Delhi style chole. So I'll start with the ingredients. Okay, here we have cooking oil, almost four tablespoons, one and a half tablespoon of ghee for tempering, whole garam masalas which includes cinnamon stick, black cardamom and cloves. This is ready-made chole masala. This is uh, roasted cumin powder, garlic, tomato, onion, onion paste actually, green coriander, julians of ginger. These are the chole beans. Uh, some people call it garbanzo beans and uh, chickpeas. In India is usually known as chole and this is the liqueur while boiling the chole. You have to soak the chole overnight and uh, then you have to keep it in pressure cooker, cooker up to three vessels and while pressure cooking it just add a tea bag so that it will give the chole its own color and this is the liqueur by it. This is the dry spices, turmeric, cumin and coriander powder, red chili powder, some asphalti dahing and whole cumin. So first I'll start with putting some oil in the pan. Okay, the onion paste I've made, it's not only onion, but it has got some of the roasted pomegranate seeds, dried pomegranate seeds which are roasted and I also added one green chili. You can not use green chili if you don't like much of spicy but pomegranate seeds give the real tangy flavor to your chole. Once the oil is uh, hot, it's not that hot, add the cinnamon stick whole cardamom, black, black cardamom gives the most intense flavor, green cardamom is usually used for, I mean after cooking, the flavor of green cardamom is a little bit mild, so after cooking it works really nice, but if you cook green cardamom it doesn't give that much good flavor, so I usually use this black cardamom in my cooking, but it's not yet hot, this Whole garam masalas are not cracking. Okay, once you get the flavor of that, and cumin, whole cumin, and a pinch of asphaltina. Once the cumin changes its color. And the ginger paste, uh, sorry, onion paste which I made. I'm still not getting the perfect flavor which I want. Okay, now it started sweltering. See, when you're using onion paste, it will flutter a lot. So be careful by adding it into hot oil. And we have to cook it until it's, it uh, leaves almost 30% uh, of its water content. The onion has got a lot of moisture in it. So what we have to do is, while cooking onions, we have to take care that it's a little bit caramelizing, so it leaves very sweet taste. Sorry, in the ingredients I forgot to mention about salt. So without salt you cannot cook anything. So I add half of the amount of salt which I am going to totally use while my onions are cooking. It makes the onion cook faster. And doesn't give much of the raw onion flavor.
So LMS has to turn with more ground than it was actually. If you do it still golden brown, it will still be spicy. Now cooking the onion, you can add little coriander. Coriander is good for garnishing as well, but I like the cooked flavor of coriander in most of my recipes. So I'm adding it. Cooked coriander in hot oil gives really wonderful flavor. Hmm. You can you can smell the whole garam masala fragrance and the onion cooking fragrance. You need to cook it for at least seven five to seven minutes. When it's half done, you can add your garlic so that it also cooks along and uh, the raw flavor of garlic is gone. Okay, see, now the onion has been reduced to almost 60% uh, of what they were actually. The paste has become thickened. It's just one minute to cook it. Hmm. Garlic is also smelling wonderful. And now it's time to add our cream chili powder, coriander and cumin powder, and half a teaspoon, not even half, little less than half a teaspoon of turmeric. Indian curries without turmeric is just not possible. See, now the onion paste and garlic has become like a lump and this is the time and you just have to cook it for a couple of seconds and add the tomato puree. The onion paste was of uh, four medium sized onions. And tomato puree was made from five medium tomatoes. Now we shall have to wait till the tomato puree cooks and it, it removes oil in the side and uh, gives the perfect flavor. See, my son is doing nothing next, I shall have to warn him. What we just see here. It was thirsty, thirsty, so spilling of water from our very old matka. Ah, the flavor is really very intense. Look at the whole masala. And it has got a lot of water content and tomatoes as well so it's but love us a lot what i do is i just cook it for a minute and keep the flame high so that it cooks very fast and uh, we'll wait till it leaves oil that side Okay, now it's time to just give it a gentle stir. See the color.
Okay, now it's time to add our roasted cumin powder, one teaspoonful, two teaspoonfuls of uh, the ready made chole masala. We have added half of salt almost. So now what we have to do is we will add the salt only at the time of seasoning it. Okay, this is the chole I'm putting a high flame. Once you when you cook the chole chickpeas, what you have to do is just see it should be easily measurable. Okay, that is the right chole for cooking. If it's a little bit harder, then you need to cook it for a little further. The color will be orange, not, not completely red as you see outside, because I have already added green chili to make it spicy in my onion paste. So I've added only half of the amount of red chili powder but you can change it as per your taste and likings. Okay, one thing I forgot I need to bring it, that is carom seed. Okay. Carom seeds are here, which I'll use as Tempering my in tempering of my chole. Ah, it's getting wonderful flavor. Now the last stage. What I'll do is I'll add some of the liquor to make the gravy with the flour. should add some more red chili powder while it's cooking, just a little, because in spiciness I cannot compromise, but it totally depends on your own taste, if you don't like it much spicy, use it as per your taste. Now what I do is I take some ghee, because chole is never complete without the tempering of ghee. So I heat the ghee, the ghee is a little bit more amount so don't worry. You need at least that much ghee for your chole. And I drank some uh, ghee, you know, it, it works as a lubricant for your joints in the body and those people who eat ghee regularly will not have joint pains up to very late age ok now I'll put ginger in there let the ginger cook for about a couple of seconds and then I'll add carrot seeds into that because truly has got uh, one bad thing about it, it causes gas in the stomach and this carom seeds does help in reducing gas level in your stomach. Okay, now my tempering is ready. And I ended it. Yes, what nice fragrance it's giving. Wonderful. Now what I shall have to do is, I shall have to check it for my salt. Because I added little salt while boiling the chole. Okay. 
The salt, spiciness, everything is perfect. The tanginess from tomatoes and uh, this dried pomegranate seeds are also wonderful. It's smelling wonderful. Now you have to keep the gas for a very low flame. Add a little more coriander. Some people only use coriander for garnishing as an add, but I do like to use it while cooking as well. I told you it's beginning. Now just cover it and let it simmer for 5 minutes and you're surely ready. Keep watching my videos, subscribe it and do leave your comments. Thank you very much.